know you're gonna dig this. What's up, everybody? How you doing today? So, uh, what a night I had with a frozen uh, laptop, frozen uh, camera, trying to upload a video. Three hours sleep, but that's okay. I'm wide awake. I am somewhere where I've always wanted to be. It is so windy today. I've been yelling at the wind. The wind doesn't listen. It doesn't care. Can you hear me better now? Maybe. All fish carcasses, crab shells, clam shells must be bagged and placed in dumpster. That's the way I live my life. I don't need to be told that. Look where I am. Does that look familiar to you? If you're a fan of the movie Free Willy, that looks familiar to you. Look, I found like a little area where there's no wind. So right in front of me and right to the left of me, that's where they offload a willy at the end of Free Willy. So he could swim out, meet his family, get the hell out of that weird little circus place that he was kept in. And he hopped over, hopped over, jumped over that jetty. Yeah, Willy! Remember that? Oh, I love Free Willy. That movie when I was younger, oh my God, I watched it a million times. And I have a fear of whales. And it's not irrational. Because one time when I was on a uh, boat in the ocean in Baja, Maine, when I was younger, a whale came up beneath the boat and I almost had a hard time. Everyone was like, ooh, ah. I almost lost my, it was really scary. So I've always had a problem with whales since then. I also have another problem with whales because I think whales, after the giraffe, I think giraffes, giraffes are the most arrogant animals, for sure. Have you ever seen a giraffe up close? You know, and they just, they just give you that look like, I'm better than you. Look at my neck. All right, giraffes, we get it. And whales, you know, like when you see them and like out in, I, I don't like uh, like sea world stuff like that. I can't stand it because they're in captivity. And even though I have a problem with whales, personally, I don't like anything like that. Like I only visit zoos where there's uh, like endangered animals or injured animals. And I think all sea worlds should be closed down. So there you go. Things should all be out in the open. We've all seen dolphins, whales, you see them on video. You don't have to see them all cooped up. And But anyways, but my other problem with whales is I find them to be very arrogant as well. Like, you know, they come up, they like raise their little dorsal fin and everybody, oh, loses their mind. Like, you know what? I do that, nobody don't freaks out. Whales just seem very arrogant to me. But I love Free Willy. And I, I'm an animal lover, so if, if you think that I'm just, you know, hating on animals, I'm not. I'm a huge animal lover. Just whales and giraffes really kind of get on my nerves a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, and there's another ant. Oh, the llama. Oh, the llama. <laughs> like, first of all, one L's enough, llama. We, get, we, we, we can pronounce it with one L. Double L. All right, so right here, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm going to two locations from Free Willy, maybe a third if I get to it. But this is the climactic scene. And I'm doing the climactic scene of the movie at the beginning of my video. Huh? What? All right. And for those who are watching just because they like film locations and they don't like the way I do them, I'm sorry. But you're getting the experience of being here. I'm not lining up exact shots. Maybe I will. I don't know. Okay, let's. I'm gonna show you where they offload a willy. Let's offload the whale. Mm -hmm. So look here. This is the boat launch, and this is where they would have broken through the gate, right, which was right here. They built it specifically for the film. So look right down here. This is where they offload a willy. And he swam out there, but then the boats blocked him. They blocked between the two jetties. Yeah, those are called jetties, those rock walls. Jetties. And they blocked him. How is he going to get out? Well, he's going to have to jump. And now we're going to go out there. And I'm going to jump over the jetty. Okay? J-O-T-J. -J, jump over the jetty. See, that rock wall is huge. But there's tiny rocks here. They are not a jetty yet. Keiko played the whale. Perfectly cast because he's a whale. 
would have liked to have seen that casting call. Like when they put out a casting call for the whale, like a dolphin shows up. I'm like, sorry, not the right size. Porpoise shows up. Sorry, wrong size and wrong color. Oh, we can't get away with that nowadays. But in the early 90s, anything went. Anything goes back then. Then a blue whale shows up. Sperm whale. Uh, well, that's about it for... No, we need a killer whale. We need an orca. What other kind of whales are there? A uh, humpback. Inglebird humpback. All right, let's go out to the jetty. Blah, 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 blah. Three hours sleep. Isn't that gorgeous? This is, this is Hammond, Oregon, which is right near Astoria. Look at that. You see all those mountains in the background of the final scene. And there is the jetty, the rock wall that Willie jumped over. Some people dream of visiting the Taj Mahal, the Eiffel Tower, Swiss Alps. Now, for me, when I was younger, this is one of the places I've always wanted to go to. The Rock Wall from Free Willy. What does that say about me? I don't know, but I dreamed of coming here. I can't believe it's right there. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go rock, rock on the walk wall. I'm gonna go walk on the rock wall. Then I'm gonna walk, then I'm gonna rock on the walk wall. Oh, everybody wants their 15 minutes. Jesus. Okay, so let's go to the rock wall from Free Willy. It's gonna be a little windy, but you can handle it. Just, you can handle it. It's a little less windy now. Oh boy, I have a feeling I'm gonna make a left, and here's the rock wall, the jetty. Wait a minute, why is there a fence? Come on! Oh, I walked the wrong area. I walked way past it. The what, what? Okay, how do I get out there now? Look, this is, he jumped right there. Right there. Come on! Dorsal fin and a saddle patch. I have a saddle patch, it's in, the, it's in my trunk. I wear it everywhere usually. Oh, it's got, oh, you got to say the total number of whales. If it's a male whale, male whale. Whales with unusual marks, scars, fins, deformities, tattoos, piercings. Direction the whales are traveling. What? Come on. And then they want your name and contact information. I'm not, I'm not a snitch. Snitches get stitches. No way. Why? No, no not doing it. Okay, how do I get to this wall? Walking to the jetty, still trying to find it. There's elk scat everywhere because there's elk in the area. I don't have a problem with elk. Oh, moose, you know what? Moose are another animal that I think are a little arrogant. I see a lot of them up in Canada when we drive about three hours north. They're huge and you just, and you walk up to them and just like, uh, and then they gallop away like this, like really slowly, then they stop. Then they gallop a bit again, and then they stop and they look back and they're just like giving you a look like, F you, man. So moose, but deer I really like. They're shy. Oh, I think the rock wall's right here. Yeah, I do enjoy deer. I enjoy good deer. Okay. Oh dear, how do I get to this wall? The things I do for you, tube. Oh my God, how do I get up there? I can't get up there. Can I? I have to walk through the water? I'm going, I don't give a poop. I don't give an elk scat, I'm going up there. How? Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera away for me to figure out how to get up there. But that's where he jumped and that's where I wanna be. Oh God. So once I made it past that little area there, climbed over that log, then underneath those branches, I finally got out onto the jetty. So I'm showing you, it looks, doesn't look that treacherous, but it was. So I'm doing a voiceover because it got really, really windy out there. But I managed to make it across and I was trying to go closer and closer and I had to go underneath all these bushes and all this stuff. And I'm just not, I wasn't wearing the right shoes. Let's leave it at that. But also, I'm not built to walk out on a jetty all the way out there like that. Come on. And I'm pointing where it is, right there. Willie jumped right there, over that, the jetty. Look, they got signs up. 
So here I am talking a bunch of nonsense about Free Willy. But look at that thing in my hair. Look at that piece of bush. I went into a cafe bar immediately afterwards and asked the, the bartender if I could use uh, the restroom. I, and I wanted coffee and Wi-Fi. So I went in. I came back out after looking in the mirror and I said, why did you tell me there was a big piece of bush in my hair? And she's like, oh, I thought it was part of your hair. <laughs> and there I am being afraid of a bird, of course, or I think it's going to attack me. But yeah, she didn't even tell me. So now you're not going to be able to not notice that because it's in like the next five minutes. I was so proud of myself, but look at that bush in my hair. This is so precarious. This part here, I have to walk along that, that, long, that log. Who, do, why? How am I gonna do that? I walked along to get here, but then I never think about the way back. This is awful. I'm so stuck. Okay, this is my last video ever. I'm gonna turn my data on, upload it to the camera, to the phone, send it out there. I love you all. Thanks for watching my channel. Spirit me under the rocks. Free Scotty. Free Scotty. Oh, biscotti. I don't like biscotti. It's too dry. Oh, how do you have the best experience of your life while at this simultaneously having the worst time of your life? I just had, I'm sitting on a log. I made it over back. Now I gotta get back that way. This filming location and video has now become life or death. And Bear Grillis Gillis, whatever the hell his name is, who gives a crap? And I'm that bear dude surviving in the wilderness. I just ate raw fish and sticks. Oh God. Oh God. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh my God. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Uh, what's on that tree? Okay, I'm gonna show you one other place from Free Willy. And the house from Free We're gonna go to the... Morocco. Free Willy. I love that movie. And he swam out here. And he met his family. And then they were doing what whales do. You know, just going in and out, in and out of the water. We get it. Wheels are great. Oh, God. Elk scat. Oh. I took the elk scat. I didn't pass. Now I'm in this little gazebo before I get to the Free Willy house. That's in the middle of this field that's by the uh, Free Willy wall. Why is this gazebo here? What happens here? Nothing ever happens here. Whose idea was this to put a gazebo in the middle of a field where nothing happens? You know what looked great? Right over there, where no one's ever been? A gazebo. You're a gazebo? Like one of those domed yeah, pavilion, like a pavilion, a gazebo. I think you're right, a gazebo would be perfect. Well, let's start building. I don't know how. No, I don't even know where I left off. I'm just winging it. Sorry. Um, yeah, so here I am at another location for Free Willy. I may go to a third, I may not. This is the house from Free Willy. Now, for those of you who don't know the movie Free Willy, first of all, what? It's that age old story. We've all, we've all been there, you know, when you're a preteen and you're living on the streets and you're selling something, but they don't really say exactly what they're selling in the movie. It's very confusing. And then you go and spray paint uh, a tank in an abandoned garage somewhere while you're being chased by the cops and a killer whale comes up to the window and then you befriend that killer whale because you start working and training the killer whale. We've all done that. It's just a story that's been told over and over and over again because it happens to everybody. Here's the house from Free Willy. It's where his foster parents lived. Yeah, and that's the house right there. Then, I don't know if they filmed the inside or not. I didn't go that deep into the research. Sorry. But he would have thrown the baseball out the window after the big fight about whether or not to keep him. And it would have went down that way somewhere. And then Michael Matz, uh, after they make up, Michael Matz says, all right. Now let's go find that baseball.
Okay, in the middle of the night and like in down a hill. Yeah, good luck with that, Michael Madsen. But yeah, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. I highly recommend it. I think they made like two sequels. Can't remember. First one's the best one, but they're all good. How many did they make? They definitely made a second one. The Search for Willie, Looking for Willie. Free. F I was just listening to Tom Petty, and I was instead of free falling, I was singing Free Willie on the way over here. Okay, so the house of Free Willie behind me. I'm in Astoria, Oregon, where everybody comes to see the Goonie House. Not this, not this chap, not this YouTuber. I wanted to see the Free Willie House. But I'm probably gonna do the Goonie's House too. Who am I kidding? I know. All right. Okay, so Free Willie, the house, right here. I'll see you soon. I may add to this video, I may not, I don't know, because I know another location not too far from here, but I'm also trying to get somewhere else in the middle of the state today to film something. And then, yeah, okay, you, know, you don't need to see how the, uh, how the sausage is made, right? You just need to see what... Sometimes I have to learn to stop talking. Free Willy, jump the jetty, Jesse lived here. He jumped the Jesse. Let's go. I'm out. Peace. Out. Free Willy House. What? Yep. Right there. Okay. It's not over. I told you I might come back. It's a few days later, but here I am in Portland for another location from Free Willy. Take a breath. This is the amusement park behind me. I'm here with Marie from Portland. She has a YouTube channel called Marie Winton. Check it out. And this is the amusement park from Free Willy. And we're gonna walk around it. And there's no one here. It's almost like an abandoned amusement park. It's like an abandoned amusement park. This video is not... down. What? No, it's not abandoned. It's still, you know, yeah. It's Oaks Park. Oaks Park. And we're gonna walk around it. So as you can tell, we're walking around it, like I just said. Pretty cool. I'm gonna to try to find the character of uh, Randolph. That was his mentor at the park. I'm gonna to try to find his house. It's here on the property still, but apparently you can't get to it. Now they filmed all around here. And there was one location where they're walking along the wall where Michael Ironside's character says, God, I hate that whale. He says it a couple times in the movie, but I'm not sure exactly where that was. But this is... Now, speaking of Randolph, one thing I want to say, if you're a Free Willy fan, if you're a fanatic about that movie and you've seen it and you know the scene I'm talking about right now, it's when they're at the, um, when Jesse first starts communicating with Keiko the whale. Keiko? Keiko? With the, the big whale. Well, the whale, I don't say the big whale. I think you know it's a, it's a whale. It's not, it's not tiny. Anyways, he says to Lori Petty's character, yeah, I need you. I need you as a prop here, Marie. He says to... <laughs> Okay, you're, okay, be off camera. Watch, no, I'll be, okay, I'll be Lori Petty. You're gonna be, okay. Like yeah, you're, your line is, because it's so bizarre, this, this bit of acting in this scene. So Jesse's off communicating with the whale. So Randolph's watching, he goes, he goes, Ray, come get a look at this. So Ray, I'm now Ray. So she's Randolph, so J come get a look at this. Ray does this, walks right towards Randolph. And then looks. <laughs> Isn't that bizarre? Wow. If you watch the movie, it's really weird. <laughs> she, he, he goes, get a look at this. So she walks right up to him and stares at him and then turns. Like if somebody says, get a look at this, That's not and they're looking at, so wouldn't you go like that? You know, go up to the person. <laughs> it's a weird acting choice, Lori Petty. Very. You were great in Tank Girl, though. Yes. 
So, a bit of trivia about the movie. All of the uh, aquarium shots were actually shot down in Mexico at a, an amusement park. And that amusement park got so much flack after the movie about having whales that all the whales are now gone from there. They still have a dolphin exhibit and it's now called, it's down with Six Flags. So that little, kind of that dinky little area where they had the whales swimming around is gone, but they still have a dolphin show. And here's the house oh, from the movie. Nice. Which they said was off limits, but it's right here. Oh, this is Randolph's house. your favorite Canadian geese. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and Marie just pointed out that there's Canadian geese, and I immediately my heart starts beating. They will attack you. Oh, yeah. They, oh, God. They're jerks. Yeah, this is Randolph's house right here. And I'm guessing somebody still lives here. But yeah, this is a little house from the movie. Pretty cool. Somebody lives on the property. Like, look, this is their view every day at amusement park. That's pretty cool. I could live like this. There we go, Free Willy fans. Okay, so that's it for Free Willy. I did as many locations as I could. Next one, I'm flying down to Mexico to show you the old amusement park that is now Six Flags. No, I'm not. Free Willy is done. There's a bunch of places in Portland. The skateboard park, where under the bridge, where he stole the fish. You get it. You understand what I've done? I've done enough. Marie, thank you for coming <laughs> along with me no to Free Willy. This was fun. This was fun. This is cool seeing this place. Yeah, it brought back a lot of childhood memories for me. Okay, I don't have time for this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you came here as a kid? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I used to actually go to a lot of all-night roller skates. I think uh, my parents were too cheap to get a babysitter, so they dropped me off at the all-night roller skating rink. Like at what age? Oh, like, I don't know, 10. Just by yourself or with friends? Yeah, friends would be here yeah, too. that's cool. Yeah, it was Yeah, there's fun. a roller skating rink right over there. <laughs> that's really cool. Like, same rides? Oh, I'm sure they've upgraded since then. Gosh, I hope. Doesn't look like it, some of them. Right? Yeah. I remember getting sick on the spider here. TMI, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. Okay, that's it. We're done. See you soon. Next video coming up very soon. Subscribe. Subscribe to Marie's channel as well. Yay. All right. I'm just talking. Let's like, let's, oh, look. Okay, stop looking. Bye.